NASA Research Park, or NRP as we call it at Ames Research Center today, is hosting the Exploration and Sustainability Expo, wherein about 40 of our partners in the park, universities, businesses, and nonprofits, are showcasing their technologies and products, along with our NASA Ames experts and researchers, to show the confluence between exploration-driven technologies and the new technologies we need for sustainability purposes here on Earth. SkyTran is a personal rapid transit technology that's a hybrid between automobiles with the throughput of mass transit. Well, it uses magnetic levitation to support the vehicle instead of wheels and linear synchronous motors to propel the vehicle on a guideway. This is basically a laboratory. It's a test bench and we're an R&D company. We're designing uh, total electric power systems for automobiles. We're researching air traffic management technologies, basically trying to improve the flying experience by increasing efficiency of commercial air traffic. And in so doing, we uh, hope to have a beneficial impact on the environment by reducing emissions and delays. When NASA is pursuing our missions in exploration, we're having to do things and develop new technologies that are pushing the envelope of what technology can do. And in doing so, we develop technologies that also have many applications back here on Earth. And a lot of those have to do with sustainability. The rovers that we have here, this one specifically, they're uh, used for studies on Earth. And we had uh, set up a mission control center, actually here at NASA Ames. And via satellite link, we were controlling these rovers as if we would control them on Mars. This expo is really great because we've got everybody coming together, scientists, researchers, engineers, high technology, um, things that are happening in your backyard, new green technology. All these groups are coming together and we're having a really great interchange and um, learning how to partner better with the, the technical sector and uh, with the government. We're currently working with NASA to firm up what's known as a Space Act Agreement, which will then allow the unique capabilities of this aviation platform to be used for scientific research, and we're really excited about that one. UAV Collaborative is a nonprofit organization here in California that's charter is to promote UAV technology, unmanned aerial vehicles. We first have established a relationship with the NASA Ames Research Center. We have a cooperative agreement to conduct uh, UAV demonstration missions and acquire data the main emphasis on earth science, but we've uh, reached out into emergency response applications, search and rescue. The Tesla Roadster is the only federally certified highway electric vehicle available for sale in the United States. It, is, uh, it is, runs on lithium ion batteries. It goes 244 miles on a charge on the EPA cycle and has a top speed of 125 miles per hour. NASA has a really great opportunity here to help the nation move towards sustainable systems and renewable energy in the future. We have sustainability work that we do in space for the space station, for potential and future lunar and Mars habitats. That's very sustainable. Those technologies can be brought back down to Earth right here to be able to help us make our, our homes and our businesses more sustainable. The NASA Lunar Science Institute is a distributed or virtual institute that supports lunar science research. So our central office is based at NASA Ames and there are teams across the country and the world working together to do lunar science research. The research park is the first attempt in the United States to actually bring in parties with the fundamental view of if you bring them together, can you leverage resources and talent in a very competitive world where no one is spending as much money as we used to on research and development. Our core is exploration, be it in aeronautics or space programs. When we bring in partners that are developing technologies or graduate students that are moving into science, technology, engineering, and math, you create an intellectual stew that's nowhere else in the country. What we're able to showcase today are many of the results just in the last few years of that relationship.